everyone, and welcome to another freaktastically amazing, awesome tutorial by the Butler. Um, sorry if this tutorial seems a bit rushed, but I'm trying to watch a hockey game at the same time, so I'm going to try and get this done during the commercial break. Um, yeah, first you're going to open up Photoshop. Oh, I know I've already done a tutorial like this, but, uh... I didn't really like the way that one ended up, and I found a better way to do it from Brockitis91. So I know I have some different people watching my channel than he does, so I'm going to make one similar to his, and uh, yeah. So just go up here to File and hit Open, then go to whatever picture you want. So. So yeah, just find whatever picture you want to use. Um, where are you? There you are. I thought this would be a fun one to do. Um, let me rotate it. Alright, go ahead and increase your image size up to about 2,000. Your width needs to be... Well, just make it big. Um, I'm making mine 2,000 by... 2667, but you can make yours whatever you want to. Uh, and hit your zoom tool, right click, fit on screen, and go over here and create a new layer. Name this layer background color. Now uh, make background invisible by clicking this eye icon right here, and get your paint bucket tool and paint your background color layer a bright color red blue yellow any color i'm going to use red then go back over here and duplicate your background layer which should be your picture and then drag it uh, background copy up above background color that should make it look like this um now uh, get your lasso tool and go over here to where it says magnetic lasso tool. We're going to use that. This is a great tool because it drastically speeds up the erasing the background process. Um, if magic eraser is taking out too much of your picture, then this is a good alternative because see, since I have a lot of white, it takes out uh, way too much. So we can't have that. So we're going to use the magnetic lasso, and just start anywhere along the picture, just left click, and then drag along the outside of the picture, um, and it will pretty much act as if the, your picture is magnetized, and stick to what you want it to stick to for the most part. Um, if it goes outside of what you're trying to trace, just go back and uh, left click and that will create a new point and it should fix it. Um, so yeah, you're just going to trace around your picture. Take your time because you don't want to mess up. And Okay, sorry about that, but uh, I had something that I had to do. Anyway, once you have your whole image selected, uh, you're going to hold down Control, Shift, and I and that's going to select inverse you can also do that by going up to select and clicking inverse um, then you're going to hit the delete key and that'll delete out all of your background um, unfortunately mine got messed up so I have to erase that part by hand um, then zoom out uh, hit control U and drag your lightness all the way down to negative 100. Now, um, create a new layer. Call this layer iPod. Then go over here to your rounded rectangle tool. Uh, select build pixels right here. And yeah, that's all right. 
Now you're going to make your iPod. So yeah, just try and make it the size of an iPod, then get a gray color, that first iPod color should be white by the way, then get a gray color and start in the iPod a bit, so you have that white border around it because that's on the actual iPod and I missed that in my last tutorial, and just do that, then you're going to get your ellipse tool, I guess that word is ellipse, I'm not really sure. Create another layer and then uh, make your color gray still selected, make a circle, then just center that as you need to. Then you're going to create yet another layer, uh, select your color as white, and make a smaller circle inside. This is going to be your click wheel or your button inside the uh, iPod. Just do this and center that. Hit enter. And there you have an iPod. Doesn't that just look beautiful? Now go over here to layer 2, layer 1 in iPod. Sh hold down shift and left click on all of them and that will uh, Select them all, right click, hit merge layers, then name it iPod again. Now you're going to move this to the general vicinity of where you're going to want it, hit control T, and shrink it down to about the size of an actual iPod. Hit enter, and now move it as you wish. I'm actually going to have my guy hold mine. Where do I want it? Nah, I'll have it on my belt. Make mine a little bit thinner, because I have a nano. Enter. And so, there we have our iPod. Um, now, you can either use the pencil tool, or there is a way to use the pen tool. Um, pen tool is over here somewhere. But, right here, I don't like the pen tool just because I find it very difficult to use, um, probably because I haven't used it enough. So, yeah. Okay, now you're going to get your pencil tool for, I'm going to use my pencil tool. I set it at about 4 pixels. Hit enter. Then zoom in on your iPod, and you're going to create a little box because that's what your headphones are going to plug into. Actually create a new layer, drag it down below iPod, and this headphones. Um, then create just a little knob here. That'll be what your headphones plug into. Uh, now take your brush size down to about two pixels and you're going to Draw some headphones. Start right here. And just draw some headphones up to here. And split off. And go to your ear. Um, if you want to, you can make a little earbud up here you don't have to though worst earbud drawing ever but yeah there we have it doesn't look half bad um yeah just go to file save as save it as a jpeg uh, then hit save that's how you do that hope you like this tutorial once again rate subscribe comment and check out my channel and my partner's channels you'll find links on there uh, have fun don't die